Okay, welcome to my first 90 gallon video uh, documentation part one. 90 gallon reef tank. This is the 55 gallon that will become my sump. I'm thinking about removing those three braces and doing probably just like a PVC uh, rim with a PVC brace in the middle. Uh, just because sumps, there's always needing access to stuff. Throw some large pieces of rock in there, skimmers, pumps, etc. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, hopefully with the dividers and a PVC brace that'll be enough to where those braces aren't going to be needed. I might just do the center and leave the sides, we'll see. But as you see it's kind of small openings. So that's that piece. Well, as you can see here is the 90 gallon. It is reef ready. There's a 2.5 inch hole. I have a bulkhead in the mail coming for that. I have plans for a standpipe and an overflow and I will document those when I do them. But yeah, this one has nice big holes as you can see so I'm probably going to leave those braces. This tank I got for 40 bucks, the other one I got for 30 so those are good deals. And this mess is where I hardened my rocks. Um, this was a mock tank so I could build some some back pieces kind of almost like a uh, a rock wall but not as kind of fake looking as some of the other rock walls can be and I'll show you that in a second but uh yeah I mixed up my my rock which was let's see it was four parts crushed oyster shell which you can get at any animal feed store um one to one and a half parts of white cement and sometimes I threw in a little bit of extra poly blend that I used on my original rocks. I had some left over so I just chucked it in. So some of the rocks are purplish, some of them aren't. Uh, let's see what else. Oh and I added uh, about one part to one and a half parts of salt. I also placed the rocks on salt to harden. Um, that gave them texture on the underside which sometimes is the top so you'll see. Uh, it was pretty good. You know, cured in one day and this way it's cheaper if I were to go to the pet store and get the oregonite and do it that way it would work out let's see poly blend oregonite salt uh, some crushed coral that worked out probably be about two bucks a pound this way it worked out to be about 20 23 cents a pound for the live rock and making this much live rock for a 90 gallon two bucks a pound wasn't acceptable so I went this recipe instead um, yeah so let's go show you here are some of the pieces this little bucket is full with little bits for mounting frags onto there is my moaning dog he wants to play with the neighbors dogs but they're not out so he's sitting here whining hey stop whining God. yeah he's very playful so here's some pieces Hey, hey, get out of here, dog. What is it with dogs? Every time you get down to their level, they want to come over and lick your face. And these are what I call my bridges. Um, I didn't think they'd be strong enough that, that long without some kind of support. Um, so I put egg crate in the middle to give them support. Uh, so that's basically just a giant piece of egg crate with the aragonite ragged creep. So here are those back pieces I was talking about. Those will go in the corners of the tank. And here I'll kind of throw together a configuration and show you what could be done with these pieces. So here's one little configuration that can be done in, dis in a display. Um, up here you can put tons of SPS. LPS can go wherever on the sand bed. And there's lots of a lot of places for the fish to swim in and out of. And it gives a fair bit of volume in the front of the tank for just roaming around. Alright. Now I'll 
show you the next part. Well, while the uh, rocks get back to their bath, I'll kind of explain how I mixed in everything. Um, I basically put my parts in there. Uh, I do it till about you know a third of the way full of the wheelbarrow because if you put too much in a wheelbarrow, it gets really hard to mix. So first thing is put in your dry mix and mix it up. I used a my handy garden hoe works great. Um, like I said, I used to work with cement and garden hoes are fantastic for mixing. So put it in there, put your water, and then mix and mix and mix until you feel you got a good consistency. You want a kind of a dry mix. Uh, after that, make your molds, make your rocks. And lastly is the curing process. Um, if you know anything about chemistry, this will kind of interest you. Uh, you want to get the pH down. Cement takes about 30 days for the pH to become neutral. Um, the rest of it takes a little bit longer. You're looking at roughly 30 to 60 days curing in water. Uh, water is the best way to cure it because it'll get the strength it needs. <coughs> What I suggest is your first week, change the water every day. Uh, second week, change the water every day. Third week, use vinegar. Uh, bathroom and vinegar for an entire week. And then fourth week, change the water a couple of times and then you start testing your pH. Test your water before. It should, my water is a, a base of seven pH. When your water goes in seven and a week later is still seven, and then your rocks are ready, uh, but of course you got to check what your your city's water pH level is naturally. So anyway, hope that helps. Just basically keep curing until you get that stable pH from entrance to three or four days at least of your rocks soaking. Well, I'm about to show you my fish room, but I've realized I can't talk in the fish room right now. It's about 6:30 in the morning. I'm an early riser. My wife is sleeping right above my fish room and my voice will penetrate the floor and probably wake her up. So I'm not going to talk, I'm going to have to read the captions. If I say something and wake her up, she'll castrate me. Well, as you saw, um, it's not really a room, it's more like a, a cubby. That's my fish cubby. And it is directly behind here. This is all fish room. So the plumbing will probably, the drain will go down there, through the wall there, and the sump is right there. Uh, the return, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I might get an OSM, or OS, OM squirt? Yeah, OM squirt. Or... I might try a Carlson search device and that'll probably come in from there into the tank. But I just ordered my RODI, I've ordered my pump, my return pump, and other than that everything's gravy. Um, doesn't have his tentacles out right now. They're all kind of sleeping. Anyway, Day one, documentation.